Well, good morning. It's Monday morning tea time with Mick. What should I say? Propel time. Well, it's hot. Therefore, <laughs> I'm drinking Propel rather than tea. I hope your week is off to a good start, and I'd like to encourage us today. I'm reminded of John chapter 14, verse 6, where Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. That verse is probably more disputed today than any time in the history of our country. Why? Number one, it's exclusive. Number two, it demands something from me, a decision. And the decision is, do I believe that Jesus is actually the truth? We need to take a step back. I think we live in a day and age where we've walked away from truth. As a matter of fact, I would say that for many folks, they are okay living in the unknown. To be agnostic, not knowing truth, or to not be affiliated is pretty normal. I wonder, though, if you are in the middle of a crisis and life goes sideways, is it still easy to live in nothing? Is it still, to, is it still easy to live in I don't know? You see, the whole part of this thing called uh, um, following Jesus is its foundation is faith. There is, we put faith into everything. You can put your faith into uh, science. You can put your faith into you. You can put your faith into someone else. And you can even put your faith in God. But you put your faith into something. And I believe scripture gives us the reality that Jesus is the, is the way, the truth, and the life. You can't separate truth with life. And we must make that choice. Now, I'm reminded way back when that there was a day in the book of Judges where truth was yet battled and people began to declare everyone did as they saw fit in their own eyes. If you study that time in that era of the book of Judges, it wasn't such a good time. When everybody did as they saw fit in their own eyes, there was chaos. There was hatred. There was selfishness. There was just a brutality. That doesn't mean that doesn't exist today, but you completely take away truth and we all, when everybody um, decides that there is no basis for truth and everybody can decide what their truth is, then uh, the consequences before in our history has shown us uh, the consequences are not so good. So you and I, even when we in doubt, and I would say to us that doubt is and should be able to be have a place in the body of Christ. What I mean is this, we have to be real. Doubt is a reality for all of us. And that's when we lean in. That's when we begin to decide what is it we believe in the midst of our doubt. Our doubt should at the end of the day make us, we'll do, it'll do one of two things. It'll either turn us into the arms of Jesus or it'll turn us away. My experience is doubt has pushed me closer to Jesus as, I, as I've asked the tough questions, as I've been in my moment. So I'm okay with living in truth by faith and continuing forward with Christ, even though that becomes more of a minority in the world in which I live. And my prayer for you today is that will be the exact same thing, that you will experience what truth really is so that you can have life. That truth is Jesus Christ. He declared it. I've experienced it. I pray today that you would also experience it because he loves you. He always has and he always will. He goes before you and behind you and absolutely nothing can take you out of his hand. I pray you have a blessed week and to this truth I say, all right and amen.